coming up with the right superhero name is harder than it seems. Just ask Hank Pym, aka Ant-Man, aka Giant-Man, aka Goliath, aka Yellow Jacket. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we will explore the comic book origins of Hank Pym's giant personas. You know that door didn't have a lock on it. You could have just opened it. Dr. Pym, I presume. As with most comic book characters, there are often reimaginings and different versions to a character's past. We've chosen to primarily follow the storyline which unfolded in 1963's Tales to Astonish number 49, which was expanded upon in 1966's Avengers number 28, 1968's Avengers number 59, and 2009's Secret Invasion Requiem. Dr. Henry Pym, or Hank to his friends, started out in the superhero business as Ant-Man back in 1962. The diminutive crime fighter has already had his origin story told in a separate video, but his career as Ant-Man only tells part of Hank Pym's story. You're supposed to be in Moscow. I took a detour through your defense lab. Tell me that isn't what I think it is. That depends if you think it's a poor attempt to replicate my work. A brilliant scientist, Pym had discovered a chemical formula that enabled him to shrink to the size of an ant. He used a separate mixture to grow back to human size. By 1963, Pym had been joined by his fiancée, Janet Van Dyne, who also used his potion to become the tiny heroine known as the Wasp. But Pym also figured out that he could manipulate his potion to grow extra tall as well as to shrink. Listen, Jan, you don't need to beg Fury to invite me to his little party. I could sell myself. Pym's first experiment worked a bit too well. He grew so large so quickly that he burst through his house. In addition, he was so tall that he could no longer support his weight. If Janet had not been on hand to slip him a reducing pill, there's no telling what might have happened. Well, I guess you are okay. Never mind. Jan, I'm fine. Oh, but I do need a favor. There's a couple of mercenaries out on the beach. I shrank them down. Can you just make sure the ants don't eat them? Thanks. After getting his growth abilities under control, Pim christened himself Giant Man. He discovered that the maximum height he could achieve and still maintain proper control was 12 feet. Armed with this knowledge, Giant Man took on his first foe, the Eraser. This was an alien being who was erasing famous scientists from existence. Giant Man quickly discovered that the scientists were not being killed. Instead, they were erased to another dimension. Once there, they were being forced to build an atomic bomb, which the beings of this dimension would use to gain control of Earth. Fortunately, Giant Man and the Wasp were able to defeat the alien villains and transport all the missing Earthlings back home. In 1966, Giant Man underwent another change. When the Wasp was captured by an intergalactic villain known as the Collector, Pym contacted his old friends at the Avengers for help. During this period, something had changed and now Pym could only switch between normal height and 25 feet. He was able to support his weight at this height, but he had to stay at that height for at least 15 minutes. Switching back and forth at lesser intervals caused heart problems. Donning a new costume created for him by the Scarlet Witch, Pym demonstrated his power to the Avengers. He also chose a new name for himself, Goliath. Working with the Avengers, a malfunction in his suit caused him to be stuck at the height of 10 feet, unable to grow or shrink anymore. However, this situation was resolved after a few months. Stranger things were to happen in 1968, though. And who is the new mystery man, Yellow Jacket? Friend or foe? A new being named Yellow Jacket, with super stinging powers, showed up at Avengers HQ. I'll give you whatever you want. Just let me go! What I want is to see scum like you punished once and for all. He claimed to have finished off Goliath and was taking his place. Eventually, it was revealed that Yellow Jacket was actually Hank Pym, suffering from mental delusions. This is sadistic, Hank. You used to dream of rehabilitating criminals. I'm not Hank! I'm everything Pym couldn't be. When he was cured, though, Pym and Janet Van Dyne were finally married. In 2009, Pym took on a new identity after the supposed death of Janet Van Dyne. In a story that recounted his origin in detail, readers learned of Pym's first marriage to a Hungarian refugee named Maria. When she was murdered on a return visit to Hungary, Pym was prompted to become Ant-Man. Later, Pym met Janet Van Dyne when her scientist father visited Pym. Dr. Van Dyne was soon killed by a creature from another planet. Then, Janet became the Wasp to help Hank track down her father's killer. Their love grew over the years despite many challenges. At the end of this story, in honor of Janet Van Dyne, Pym became the new Wasp. Few superheroes have taken on as many different identities as Hank Pym has over the years. While his Ant-Man persona is probably the most popular and enduring, all of the identities have been interesting and made for some awesome adventures. Are you a fan of the Hank Pym in all of his guises? For more comic book origins, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Your first, Frosty. Let's go.